All right, get this. So it's 2097 AD, and because of some asteroid collision, America has fallen under church law. So like the Statue of Liberty has a cross instead of a torch, and the Holy Infant has replaced the tablets. <laughs> of course. Now, somewhere in Arizona, tribes of diggers refuse conversion and are chased down by flying squadrons of Jesuit crusaders led by Father Alano, the church's top enforcer. There's some sort of gunpowder ban, everybody's back to swords and shields, no more military technology, but the Jesuits still fly Black Hawk helicopters. Go figure. But there are also Franciscans. They have retrofitted an aircraft carrier into a monastery where they run a hospice for all kinds of dying dudes who look like, well, Hitler and Gandhi, Churchill and Freud. What on earth? Anyway, stuck in mid-Atlantic looms Harlequin Island, a floating colony of self-exiled libertarians led by Sir Gottfried, some maverick genius who lives with his organs outside his body. Which, concerning all that, I think is a play on God-free and gut-free. Get it? Either way, the dude looks creepy as all hell. Gottfried wears red bow ties and kills time cloning the past's famous and infamous, the so-called replicas, for his sheer entertainment. But he's about to cross the line. His next show will be a highly authentic Easter pageant starring the J-clone, some Jesus lookalike. Uh, oh boy. And that's where Double M steps in, a replica of Marilyn Monroe and J. Clone's girlfriend who runs away from Harlequin Island disguised as a nun and alerts the church about the upcoming show. So now the shit hits the fan at the Holy See. Crying anathema, the Pope summons Father Alano from his crusading in the West and it looks like Mr. Kick-Ass Priest is about to go and spoil the libertarian sacrilegious masquerade. Or at least that's where the first issue ends. I have no clue what the creators of this comic book smoke, but I doubt it's legal anywhere in the US, and you know, I might just want some of that shit. <laughs>